you are welcome to this video tutorial in this video we'll explain the project offline test or offline examination so why offline examination so this examination basically for the job selection so where the applicant will come to the company and they'll take the examination in the company itself based on the result so we want to process it and then we can select the candidate so the basic idea here is so candidate can come to the company here we provide a system them so it's internally networked our local area networked so from our server they can take the examination so based on the examination result we can get them job so apart from this now to make it as a project so we'll add up some more concept to this so because you know like this is basically for the student who are doing computer course science so you're supposed to do a project uh, as far as your curriculum is concerned. So when you talk about project, a mini project or major project, in case of mini project, uh, you need to have around 10 to 12 forms or 14 forms in the project. Now, this main objective of this project is to conduct the test. Main objective is to conduct the test. When you conduct the test, naturally there is a form. So here is the question will come. So there is answer A, answer B, answer C, answer D. So any they need to answer the or click or they need to enter the correct answer. So it's a multiple choice. So once they complete, the result will come. So therefore they know what is the score. But in order to make it as uh, for 10 to 14 forms or to make a mini project, you need to add up more uh, forms to the project. So what are the forms you can add? So now you can see that uh, broadly we can divide this into two part. One is admin part. One is client part or candidate. So let's say candidate because so who need job. Right. So in admin, we, we can make a login form. Then you can make MDA form. So MDA basically required to make a menu and then you can navigate from this. Then job opening or job title. Fourth one, exam name or exam detail. Fifth one, question entry. So we need to enter the questions uh, before they can take the examinations. So like that, okay. And based on that, we can generate the reports. So for reports, we can keep another two, three forms. As a candidate is concerned, okay, here is offline application. Therefore, you can enter the candidate details also here. So therefore, you can take candidate details. Right. So on the other side, candidate can uh, log in. You can take the exam, then you can able to see the result. So now you can see that uh, it make a mini project. So now we'll have around 14 forms. Now I'll show you like how these forms are designed and uh, how the total project works. Fine. So let's come back to the Visual Studio. So we are in Visual Studio and uh, here are the forms. So this is a welcome screen. So you can give a different title, there is no problem because here the job selection, offline entrance test and result processing system are offline entrance exam. So any title will do the job. The next is a login form. So I'll take to admin login form. Here is admin login form. So here is user ID and password when you click OK. So we need to connect to the database and particularly for the login tab. There you need to check the what are the ID we enter and what are the password you given, whether this data is there in the table or not. If it is there, we allow them to log in and then we show it to the MDA parent one. So when you go to MDA parent one, you can see there are two menu strips are there. This is the menu strip one for admin and this is for the candidate. So therefore now to add the menu strip two, we return a code MDA parent one menu strip two dot visible is equal to false. So therefore when your admin logs in, this is not visible. Same way. When a candidate logs in, so there is a login form here, applicant number and the password. When you click OK, so here is the applicant table and same way register number and the password. 
If this data is present in the table, then we will allow to log in here. We will show the MDA parent one dot show, and then we are disable the or we make visible is equal to false. M menu strip one dot visible false. So now admin menu strip will not be visible in case of applicant login. In case of admin logs in, so candidate login such as the menu bar two will not be visible. So if I go to MDA parent, now you can see the qualification details. So there is a qualification form here. So in this there are two columns. So you need to design the table on the same pattern. So if I take the tables here, you can see that qualification there are two columns are there, and job opening there are four columns, exam detail again three columns, question bank. So question exam name, question number, question text answer one, two, three, four, correct answer. So first you need to design the table. What are the columns are required? According to that, you need to design the form. So in this case, uh, we talk about qualifications. There are two columns are there. Therefore, we design the two columns. And then to enter the data, we have a new button to clear the text controls, and then save button to save the record. So if you keep watch some videos from our channel, you get an idea day by day. Then you can able to do any project yourself. Because in the beginning, if you plan big or and you try to write the code, definitely there are errors. So errors discourage to complete the project. And also in the beginning, you thought of to do a lot of things, but that is a little difficult. Uh, but anyway, it's all depend on what you knows, uh, how much you know about Visual Basic, and then how do you write. So not only in Visual Basic, you can write this project in C Sharp or in Java or on Android. So once you know the project, like know the concept, what exactly this project is, you can write it in any language that is possible. Fine. So now we talk about qualification uh, entry, and then there is a grid actually. This is the data grid. So we want to display the data in the grid. So therefore, there is a list button here, display records. If you go to the definition of this, so this is the code to display the records. So you know we have separate videos for each simple module. For example, how to create a login form, how to make a MDA form, how to make a child form, how to create a menu. All that is provided in individual videos. That description in the description, the links are available. Please watch that videos and then learn first that concept. Then you try the project. So if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please log in to YouTube. Then if you search for iBlix tutorials. So in a search box, just search for iBlix tutorials. So you can see that iBlix tutorials. Click over there, and please click on the subscribe button. Then go to videos. There you can scroll down. Or uh, you can see that we provide a lot of videos related to the projects, Python, and to learn uh, Visual Basic, learn C Sharp. So a lot of videos are provided. So browse the videos and just learn what you are really interested in. Fine. So let's come back to this. Right. So we talk about qualifications. After qualifications, we have a job opening form. So I'll just show you the job opening form. So you can see that uh, four field. So as I told already, first you need to design the tables. So in the table also, you're supposed to have the same number of columns. So these columns and the tables must match. Then only when you save the record, you could have successfully able to send the data to the table. So this code will send the data to the table. So you can see the job title, number of job. Qualification name and details. So this will match with the table definition. So this is a table definition, and the same we are inserting in in the VB code. Uh, we are using two variables to make one insert statement and then values. Okay. When you combine both the Q1 and Q2, it make a insert statement. Insert SQL statement. Because here some advantage. If there are any error, we easily we can rectify that. If you put only one variable, uh, then the whole thing become very little complicated. Therefore, use the two variable may be well easier. So next one is exam names, then question entry, then application detail, then reports as we discussed. Fine, I'll run the project and I'll show you like how this whole thing works. So here is a welcome screen. So it will be there for five seconds because we are using the timer. Then we can go to admin login. Here you say admin, then admin. Right now you can see that qualification details. We can enter, click new button, enter the details, and then save. Then you can go to job openings. So here is a junior programmer 101. 
so qualification it may be bca right so then exam names what are the exams php main exam so if you want to connect different exams you can click new button give the exam name and uh, for which post is suitable that post you have to give select it here and then you have to write the details and then you have to save next is the question is entry this is what important so you have to click new then you have to select the exam name then you have to enter the question number then you have to enter the question what are the corresponding answers this is mcq so for four answers you have to provide and they have to enter the correct answer in an integer so one two three four any one number you have to enter here so i'll just show you what are the one entry already done here is a php stands for this four answers and four is the correct answer and this is the second question likewise how many questions you want to ask the candidate you need to enter all the questions here only then here you have to enter the applicant details i'll just change this to arun 560010 then uh, we have separate video for validation like how to make validations so please watch that video to make validations so then here it can see that php main exam then modify yes so this is the register number 1001 now what we'll do is so we'll close this program then we log in again okay we'll run the program again this time we'll log in as an applicant fine so now take the exam 1001 and enter the password fine it logs in now take exam so which exam so if you apply for multiple then list will come so you need to select the one now you can see that question number 1 php stands for so what is the correct answer okay fine so the correct answer is so php hypertext pre processor fine answer d next php is an example for dash scripting language server side client side browser side outside which is the correct answer so the server side okay fine select this and then go to next php scripts are enclosed within tag which tag php 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 question mark question mark php question mark php so this is the question mark php and then question mark okay so the for d is the correct answer which of the following variable is not predefined variable predefined means which already provided in a php get ask request post okay now ask is not there so the for b is the is not predefined okay right when you need to obtain ascii value of a character which of the following function you apply in php so character ascii ord val ascii okay this is the ord so this word is the function so c so next so exam is completed fine so this is over now if you go to selection list you can select the thing So you can see that how much score you done. Okay, there are five questions, so totally five are correct. So here more people are selected. The taken the exam means all the list will come. Who score maximum marks? They will come on the top. Therefore, first five people are selected because we for this particular post we have five posts. Therefore, our first top five will be the selected one. So it will show the result as well as the whether the candidate is selected or not. Both will be served. so then you can exit right so hope you understand the concept and uh, how to write this project so please try so you can try in any language you can vb or c sharp or java android no problem also what do you think and what do you feel how do you get the benefit or what are you looking for so please write it in the comment box let us know what you are thinking thank you very much